Heart to Heart, a Catholic media ministry, presents Ornaments of Grace, stories for Advent and Christmas. Today's Ornament of Grace for Friday of the second week of Advent is Tron Men Not, from the Gospel of Matthew. What comparison can I use to describe this breed? They are like children squatting in the town squares, calling to their playmates. We piped you a tune, but you did not dance. We sang you a dirge, but you did not wail. In other words, John appeared neither eating nor drinking, and people say, he is mad. The Son of Man appeared eating and drinking, and they say, this one is a glutton and drunkard, a lover of tax collectors and those outside the law. Yet time will prove where wisdom lies. In today's Gospel, Jesus calls out those who write off John the Baptist because they did not like his way of life. They specifically complained about John's sacrificing food and drink. Then this same group apparently finds fault with Jesus because he eats and drinks. Obviously, it's not a lesson about food or no food. Rather, Jesus confronts harmful biases and unfair preconceived opinions of others. He shows the childishness of quick, closed-minded decisions to shut a person out. Of course, our human brains are wired to categorize almost instantly based on our experiences, our education, and much more. This can be helpful. If we need to pick up fruit from the produce department, we don't have to head down the cereal aisle. It's not so good, however, if we do not allow ourselves to find true wisdom because we categorize people, writing them off, before we really try to understand them. Being open to understanding both the gifts and the needs of all of our brothers and sisters can be costly. Jesus welcomed all, the tax collectors, the outcasts, the poor, the sick, and those from other regions and faith. And it cost him everything. If we try to do the same, we can expect to suffer too. Yet what wisdom it is to know the joy awaiting those who suffer for justice. As a Catholic Christian, Tron Min Not understood the need for openness to opposing views and to just practices. As a journalist, he wrote articles for the Vietnam Redemptorist News, established by the Catholic Order of the Redemptorists, who have been bringing the good news of Jesus to the poor and abandoned of Vietnam since 1925. Tron's articles focused on human rights, social justice, and religious freedom. In 2011, Tron Knott wrote in support of a multi-party political system and for freedom of speech. He also organized protests against China's mining operations in Vietnam's central highlands and other toxic practices. For these good works, he was arrested in Ho Chi Minh City for, quote, activities aiming to overthrow the people's government, close quote. This was a legal clause that empowered the Vietnamese government to criminalize people promoting democracy in any form. In 2013, Tron was sentenced to four years in prison, followed by three years of probation. Prison conditions were inhumane, and he did not receive needed medicines, nor was he allowed reading materials. He went on a hunger strike to protest not only his own treatment, but also the treatment of his fellow prisoners, who suffered grievously. Finally, he was released in 2015. Still, even after his release, Tron and his family 
continued to suffer almost constant verbal and physical harassment. He was beaten, subjected to toxic substances. His family's plants and property were damaged and then burned. Tron Min Nat chose truth and justice, Jesus' way over safety. This Advent, let us be as courageous as Tron. Let us listen in love to all our brothers and sisters before we judge too quickly, miss the light of wisdom, and lose our way to Bethlehem, Calvary, and finally, eternal joy. Tron Min Nat is today's ornament of grace. Observing the beautiful ornaments. How do your biases and prejudices sometimes keep you from listening and perhaps learning from someone with a different viewpoint?